this is Dr. Scott. I'm just uh, practicing some more ultrasound, looking at the hip today. Uh, one of the most difficult things is identifying uh, for when you're trying to inject in the hip or outside of the hip um, and doing that effectively. Uh, outside of the hip, you can choose one of the mini bursa. So you may be able to kind of piece it together in your mind, but right now I'm looking at a hip. This is the top of the leg bone coming into the uh, the pelvis bone right there uh, and we're seeing a band of tissue uh, that goes along with uh, one of the muscles that flexes the hip called the psoas. Uh, the uh, uh, right underneath it's a little harder to see on the screen but the joint capsule uh, is right there so it's just interesting to see how if you inject right where the pin is pointing uh, and you can go in the hip or you can go into one of the lubricating packets around the muscle called a bursa uh, if it's inflamed and inject right there or kind of pointing to a, a tiny sliver that may be difficult to project actually that's showing up pretty nicely right there um, to make sure you're in the right place you can do multiple dimensions so I'm just going to flip this guy around real quick and we can actually see uh, where the leg bone, the femur, is coming out of the socket of the pelvis um, called the acetabulum and this is a tendon of that psoas muscle um, so uh, that is an area that can get inflamed a lot. Pretty interesting to just take a quick look um, trying to get some more practice in so I can treat people with uh, hip pain more effectively uh, and get them back on the field uh, uh, after uh, or painful injury to the labrum or uh, uh, tears or strains of the muscle uh, with some good rehab and pain control. All right, thanks for uh, thanks for watching. Bye.